Hey what's up guys and welcome to another old school video and I just finished a cal fight task and actually the goal of this video is going to go to 72 slayer because I want to be able to kill the skeletal wyverns for money and I've actually never killed them before so it's going to be interesting to learn how to do that as well and I think I need a mind shield or an elemental shield at least and I'm not sure if I have to complete the elemental workshop for that we will have to see in the future of the video but anyways I got two brimstone keys from the cal fight task so I'm going to go and open the chest and see what I get. Oh, and I also got a hard clue from that house, so I'm going to do that straight after I open these two chests. But anyways, let's see. I guess maybe I don't even have to click on it first to open it. Okay, that's coal, and then the second one is going to give me four ru rune four hems. Yeah, that's pretty nice. How much is this worth? 82k, and this is like 50k, so 135k. It's not too bad, actually. Alright, so let's see what the hard clue is going to give me. That is 50k, absolutely terrible. So as I'm going to be using the current Slayer Master, I want a fast way to get there because running there from the dock at Port Sarim is pretty painful. I'm just going to get the Xeric Amulet or however it's called where you can just teleport pretty close to it. For that you need to kill Lizard Men. They have a 1 in the 250 drop rate. And I can't actually access them before I have 5% in Chazen Reputation, or whatever it's called. So I'm going to get that real quick, and it shouldn't take that long. And I'll get back to you guys when I get the amulet as a drop. Alright, there we go. That's the amulet, and I guess I have to charge it maybe before I can actually use it. Uh, yes, I think you're supposed to use these teeth on it. Yeah, there we go. 21 charges. And that took me... I had 5%, so it took me like 160 kills, which was not too bad. I don't know, maybe it took like... 45 minutes or something like that, but yeah, that's the amulet, so now I can teleport to the Slayer Master way quicker. Okay, well that is a pretty goddamn good drop. A clue scroll and a brimstone key in one Turoth. Let's do the hard clue. I pretty recently hit 74 strength as well, and I am 2k off level 70 Slayer, so that's going to be a pretty huge milestone to reach, but anyways, let's open the hard casket and see what we get. And that is 80k, uh, yeah, pretty bad actually, to be honest. And there we go, that's 70 Slayer achieved, only two more levels to go until I can kill Skeletal Wyverns. Um, I need to have completed Fairy Tales Part 2 for this uh, clue scroll step, so I'm actually not going to do this, I'm just going to drop it and continue slaying. I was actually so lucky that task, I got four brimstone keys, I'm going to open them in just a sec. I also hit 80 tasks, I got 90 points, and the next one is 138 Black Demons, a pretty good one. I'm going to unlock these now and see what I get. And I get 400 coal, one room plate body, what is this, dragon arrow tips, and even more dragon arrow tips. How much is this worth? Four keys from one tourth task, and I got 310k, that's really nice. I've actually done a few tasks now, I'm 71 slayer, and I hit it pretty recently, but I have seven brimstone keys. But first let's get a new assignment, fire giants, that's a pretty good one, I actually got that task pretty recently, but let's unlock these seven keys and see how much money we get. The money from this is so good, like I need all the money I can get on this account. Celastro seed? I've never seen that before, I don't know how much that's worth, oh my, 150k, that's actually so good. But yeah, I need all the money that I can get for supplies for doing Slayer, and also I want to get to Skeletal Wyverns, as I've said. And all the money that I get is going to be spent into getting better Slayer gear, really, and just overall better PVMing stuff. 600k almost, or 444k, I guess, as the always body price, but that is pretty good. Time for another hard clue, so let's see what we get from this one. I got this one from Hellhounds, and that is 81k. This page is probably worth nothing because the other rune items... This has to be worth like 10k or something because these uh, rune items are worth quite a bit on the runes. So that's unfortunate. And another hard clue. I'm actually getting pretty close to 72 Slayer. I'm currently doing an Abra and Spectre task and I got like four Snapdragon seeds in like 50 kills. Which was absolutely insane as well for like 200k profit. But anyways, let's open this hard casket and see what we get. 200k, that's actually not too bad. Okay, so we're reaching the goal of 72 Slayer, there we go. I have a Hellhound task of 97 left, but I'm just going to end it now. I want to get into Skeletal Wyverns, but first I have some keys. I think I have like three or four in the bank or something, or in total. So I'm going to open those first. So I had three keys overall, and I also had a hard clue, by the way. So I'm going to do that straight after opening these chests. That is two magic seeds, that's huge. And then gold ores, that's pretty shitty though. And torstal seeds, I think this was actually worth quite a lot. Let me see how much are these seeds. 200k, 
Holy shit. Yeah, these ores are not that good. But then the magic seeds are worth a lot. That's 550k. That's so good. Okay, so after this, I'm going to sell the Slayer tab that I have. And I want to see if I can get the money to buy a DFS. Because you need that or an elemental shield to be able to kill the skeletal vibrants. And I kind of want to melee them, which is why I want to get the DFS. And also, I don't want to do the elemental workshop quest right now. But anyways, let's open this and see what we get. That is 67k. It's pretty bad. Alright, so let's sell all of this and see how much money this is worth. Okay, so I sold everything for 4 million and I had already like 700k in my bank. So I'm pretty close to 5 million now, but the DFS is 7 mil. So I'm going to have to be doing the elemental workshop anyways. And I'll get the shield from that and I'm just going to range it with void. And that's going to be fine. I'm going to try to do skeletal vibrance for 7 mil and then buy the DFS. I had to get 20 mining for the quest, so let's do it now. Okay, there we go. That's the elemental workshop completed. I think the elemental shield should be good enough to use on the Vyverns, but if I have to do elemental workshop 2 for the mind shield, I will do that, but I'm gonna try to use the normal elemental shield first. So I did like 3 kills with the ranged, but the problem is I have a rune crossbow, which is extremely bad for doing damage, and I have a whip for melee, which is quite the difference, like a tier 70 weapon. So I'm going to actually try melee instead, and for that I need to get a... Verax plate skirt, which is, oh, it's actually not that bad, and a Torax plate body, and also, I guess, if I have the money, I can buy a Fury. Yeah, I can, actually. So let's do that, and, I mean, I can just sell all of this back, it doesn't degrade or anything. I mean, the Torax plate body and the Verax skirt does, but the Fury, I can just sell back, so I don't really lose any money on this. So that is a pretty nice investment, and for the helmet, I'm just going to use, actually, I'm not sure what I'm going to use for a helmet. Maybe I'm going to buy, like, a Torag or something. Torag helm. I don't know if people use this actually, but hey, fuck it. I'm gonna go with it. Or actually, never mind. I'm going to buy the Verak one. I think that's actually better. Not 290 GP, 290k. There we go. Now I have a pretty nice setup. So yeah, it's definitely faster with melee and I think this is going to be the way I'll be killing them. Obviously, my kills are not that great because my stats are not that high in general. So I'm not sure if it's worth yet to do these for money. I will have to see. I I'm going to do this for a while and I'll get back to you guys with how much loot and all the stuff that I got from the kills and also how many I killed. But I will have to just see this as an experiment to see if... I still need to train my stats a bit. You can see how fast I'm killing it. It's not that bad, actually. And I'm just really using the incredible reflexes prayer. So it's pretty decent. I'm going to kill, as I said, quite a few. And I get back to you guys with the loot after I've killed them. And then I'm going to decide if it's worth it or not at the current state. So I think this is the inventory I'm going to use. I'll see at the end of the trip if it actually fits, like, how many prayer pots I have compared to food. But this inventory is worth, let's see... Just so I can compare with how much the cost of the supplies are and how much the loot is worth. So 76k or 75k, something like that. And I get back to you guys when I finished uh, a trip with this inventory. So I'm going to assume that this is not very worth it for me at the current time. Also, I got, by the way, two prayer pots as a drop. So it is pretty accurate, like how much food to potions I bring. Because I only had a prayer potion two those left when I had no food. But yeah, I spent like 80k or something like that on supplies 75k ish but then also you have to keep in mind that my barrels gear degrades and that is an 89k profit or not profit but overall money that i made from the loot so i spent like 75k plus that my three barrels items are degrading so i probably actually go minus which is not very good and the experience rates and stuff like that is not actually that good because I don't hit that frequently. So I'm just going to not do that right now but I'm still going to keep the Barrow's gear because it's very good for Slayer. Oh yes, the Barrow's gear is very good for Slayer. I don't know if the Varrox skirt is the best versus like Hellhounds or stuff like that. I think Torag has higher defense or maybe Darox or something. But hey, it's working fine. It's definitely better than Dragon. And I'm just going to sell my Dragon. I think my Dragon chain body is probably worth quite a bit. And uh, I don't really need it anymore. The Torag's plate body is pretty much vastly better than that. So I'm just going to do Slayer again. Uh, it's like the best way to train combat anyways, and I'm like a slayer addict, and also I got a hard clue. I'm going to finish this task, and then I'll do the hard clue. So, let's get the casket right here. Never mind, baited. Oh, this is also in the wilderness. I got three wilderness steps in a row. Jesus Christ.
All right, there we go. That's the clue scroll completed. Let's get a good hard clue for the end of the video. Let's stand over here by the eye. It's going to look at me and l watch me eye. Get this one mil reward. 58k. Isn't this like actually extremely rare? How is this 58k? Anyways, that is going to do it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. And even though I couldn't really make use of the 72 Slayer for the Skeletal Vibrance as my combat and stuff like that is not really good enough yet. I'm still very happy I hit 72 as it was the goal of the video. And Slayer anyways is what I want to get to 99 real bad because I want to get my combat stats up anyways. And PVMing is pretty much my by far favorite thing to do in the game. So I will just keep doing Slay really because I want to level up my combat stats and it's just a very good way to progress through the game in my opinion. It's way more profitable than doing Nightmare Zone obviously because that shit gives no money. So doing Slayer is profitable so I gain better gear as well as leveling pretty much all my combat stats. So there really isn't any downsides to doing it. So anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one guys. Take care.